what's up guys welcome to Moto Toys thanks for watching I'm gonna give you a quick update on what's going on right now with the CR 125 <clears throat> for the rebuild um, I figured out what the low end bog problem is well unfortunately the top end needs to be rebuilt I wish I knew this from the very beginning so I want to start with giving you some advice on when you proceed to purchase um, any type of power sport whether it's dirt bike ATV I don't care what it is. Anything with an engine, there's something you need to purchase. Um, there are some that are relatively inexpensive, and but we, it's going to save you a lot of time and heartache. So here we go. This little guy right here is called a compression tester. I got it at AutoZone for 30 bucks. Now, it's behind the counter. So if you go to your local... AutoZone and try to find this thing you're gonna be making lap after lap after lap around the store and you're not gonna find it it's behind the counter so you have to X for it it's called the Innova I-N-N-O-V-A the Innova so it comes with some adapters the main line screws in to the bottom piece right here and then this screws in to your cylinder head you kick it either kick start it well, if it's electric start, you turn you just turn the motor over until the pressure builds. I only could get this thing up to about 90, between 90 and 95 PSI. Top end shot. It needs to be at around 150. So around that, around that range, 150 PSI. So not that big of a deal. Um, I'm going to shoot a video uh, later whenever the parts come in for the top end rebuild. I'm going to do a complete uh, top end rebuild uh, kit. I'm going to order from uh, Wiseco and... I found one on eBay already, uh, the complete kit with gaskets. Um, actually, it has the entire engine kit gaskets. Um, engine gasket kit, not kit gasket. <laughs> but, and I'm also changed the cylinder head out because uh, for whatever reason, I don't know why. Maybe you guys can tell me. Underneath the cylinder head, uh, when I was sitting there troubleshooting this thing, you know, I tore the carb apart multiple times and, and, um, couldn't figure out what the uh, low end bog was and why this thing was lacking power. I thought it was a fuel problem, but apparently it's a compression issue. Um, like you know, not the right amount of air will not fire. No fuel won't fire. No spark won't fire. No compression will not fire. So, um, but the underneath of the cylinder head, I was checking to see if I had a coolant leak because what can also happen is your head gasket could be blown and coolant start leaking into the cylinder and that would, that could cause a um ignition issue as well when the cylinder gets flooded with um gets flooded with coolant but that wasn't an issue there was nothing wrong with it but when i flipped it over the underneath of the cylinder head is marred up i don't know if this cylinder head was changed um prior to me buying this and it was a used one because the top of the piston isn't chewed up but the underside of the cylinder has chewed up and i'm just kind of curious what caused what would actually cause that to happen so but it's going to need a new um top end rebuild we're going to do that and the clutch is going to actually need to be probably re replaced too uh it's not really giving me any trouble uh, other than it's kind of sticky but uh i went ahead and i had to actually take the clutch cover off uh, the nut on the, ba the basket actually backed off. Um, the tension was gone. The tension on the clutch lever was gone. Um, so I went ahead and took that off. The nut backed off. The reason that happened was because the crush washer that goes behind the nut that's supposed to fold around it to stop it from backing off was flat. Uh, whoever fooled with the clutch prior to me owning this thing didn't put that back correctly. So another thing to think about don't forget about that crush washer you gotta you gotta bend those ends around that nut so it doesn't back off um but that's about it i'm gonna get a new air filter i got one coming in and i'm gonna rebuild the carb i got a carb kit coming in it was like 20 bucks um brand new all the jets all the everything that you can take out of here and rebuild the carburetor with it comes in the kit uh all the gaskets um also i got a new air filter coming in a maxima um it was eleven dollars you know a lot of parts you can find inexpensive from uh, if i didn't say it, it was maxima 
Um, I could have got a Twin Air or a Uni or whatever, but they looked identical. Uh, the one that was in here was probably the original one from uh, 96, so it was probably 21 years old. But, uh, yeah, I got this thing. It's a shame. It looks kind of pitiful right now, but it's all right. We're going to get it square. We're going to get the power back in this thing because I want to start shooting some videos on the track. And, uh, unfortunately, man, the weather here just doesn't cooperate. It's been raining every day for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. You know, and when it rains like that, track's closed. So, uh, my little boy's, uh, my oldest's birthday was yesterday, and I was going to take him on a track in the morning, but you can't because every day you wake up, we're surrounded by black clouds. <gasps> so, no big deal. We'll get, we'll get a break in the weather. Probably going to need about a week uh, for a break in the weather before this, so the track can dry out. But, yeah, we make we make a run to the track, uh, pull the banshee out, and... Uh, I want to have uh, my two little boys go head-to-head -head with the little 50. The little SSR 50 and the little Cooster 125. We have them to go on head-to-head. -head. A little drag race. That's what we're going to do with that. But, all right, guys. Well, thank you. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do another parts update whenever they all come in. And go from there. Thank you. Motor Toys out.